Thanks, Zach. Happy to be here. Happy to happy to have this conversation and, and connect with your your listeners. Yeah, absolutely. And so this is um this is it. We're talking full on supply chain now. We have the the trucking side of it, and now uh, we're bringing in the maritime expert. But you know, it's on everyone's mind. I think the White House every other day is making some sort of announcement about initiatives to try to get the supply chain moving. So from where are your vantage point, what are you seeing? How how are things going right now? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think we're all kind of seeing the same thing. And and like you said, I'm approaching it from a maritime side of things. So, you know, I, I'm I'm I, I'm happy to have a conversation with the surface transport side because I think that we're all finding that we've become a little too siloed. Yes. Um, you know, and I, I think that we all need to kind of it, it, not by anybody's fault. We all speak kind of different languages. We all we all kind of use some of the same terms, but really the way that we apply them is a little bit different, and that causes trouble. Absolutely. You know what I think is, in terms of people being siloed, it's very frustrating because you, so many times you'll go, and you, you've been to a, thousands of these meetings, I've been to, to thousands of them, and you look around the table and you notice that not everyone is there who should be there. Mm. And then what happens is, so policy is starting to get discussed and crafted, and all of a sudden you're like, okay, but like these three huge stakeholders were not in any of these meetings, and like, that's probably going to cause some problems down the road. Right. Well, and you know, that happens on the maritime side too. So, you know, I mean, we're all familiar with Department of Transportation and they have an agency within the U.S. Department of Transportation. So that's Mayor Pete. He's Secretary Pete. He's the um, the Secretary of Transportation. Um, they have an agency, Maritime Administration, um, which is a great agency, but they tend to be a little bit more promotional of the U.S. flag fleet. So they tend to be a little bit more kind of domestically focused. We also have another agency called the Federal Maritime Commission, who is the agency that regulates kind of the, the monopolistic behavior that happens on ocean shipping. So they they protect for the US for the benefit of the US exporter, importer, and consumer um, ocean-borne shipments. And so when the alliance reshuffling was happening with the ocean carriers a few years, well, 10 years ago, I guess, um, they were overseeing that to making sure that nothing became too monopolistic, that no, no kind of alliance group had more than maybe 25, 30, 35 percent market share. Um, you know, so so they still allowed for big winners and big losers, but they provided kind of that guardrail. So that is a great agency that sometimes gets left out of the conversation just because it's not as well known. Um, I think now with everybody talking about supply chain, it's it's certainly becoming more <laughs> well known. Um, they're, they're creating a few federal advisory committees as part of the Federal Maritime Commission, which is a great way of just including the industry. And it's a little hands off on the FMC. They're like, here's a group, we're going to facilitate the discussion, but you guys discuss and let us know. You're just going to have direct access to the federal government should you come up with some solutions or identify problems that we're not looking at. So... Thank you.